Hi, it's Carrie. I just want to share a verse with you. Um, it really made me think, and I'm still a very kind of baby Christian, still learning the Bible, and even if there's not time, I'm just going to keep learning as much as I can. So anyways, um, I was reading Romans to my son, chapter 10, and I came across a particular verse that I really wanted to share because I think that this is a really important one. So this is Romans chapter 10, verse 8. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's right there. That's what I've been saying. Well, I, I mean, I heard it from others, but it's right there. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness and unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. So that's all it takes is you just have to believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross to save you from your sins, to pay the debt, and that he res was risen three days later, resurrected, having defeated death and is now at the right hand of our father see what i just did there i just confessed it with my mouth i believe it in my heart that's all you gotta do you just confess it with your mouth believe it in your heart and you you will you will be surprised at how much you will change in a good way jesus he when he he can't, when God chooses you, when he softens your heart and he brings you into the fold, he, it, it's really an amazing thing. He starts to change your heart. You really do die from your old life and then you are renewed in Christ. And it's no longer you, now it's Christ. And I find myself praying that. I look in the mirror and I don't want to see myself because it's not about me. And I understand that now. And I don't want others to see me. I want them to see Jesus because I want them. I want you. I want everyone to see how much love he has for us. But you must remember, it's not just love. He's just as well. You got to keep that in mind. And another verse that I really liked too, and this is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1 to 6. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. I feel I was led to share that one with you at least, I think. And actually, I feel like it was almost more for me because I'm definitely not well-versed in what I say, but my heart is there. And even if I don't know what to say, that's why I was just reading, reading verses because they say more than I could ever say. So, I, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I really encourage you to pick up your Bible and read it. And don't just read it for the sake of reading it. Try to understand what, what is being said in there. And pray before you read. Pray and ask 
Jesus to help you understand his, his word and to reveal himself to you through his words. This is very important. And when you do, you will see it. Also, don't neglect the first, t the, the old, old Testament either, because there's a lot of great stuff in there. Got to read that too. All right. Um, please like and subscribe. Until next time.